Hello YouTube, here is Jens from Tabletop Generals and today I show you the new book Fortress Europe. Late War Forces from Battlefront for Flames of War. Now what have we here? It's a 125 page book, hardcover, fully colored book with all the informations you need to field the Allied, the Soviet and the German forces with the new point system into your late war battles. Yeah. Here we open the book. First of all we got a map from Europe with the German occupied countries and the countries um, from the Allied forces. Yeah, that's the stand of the things at January 1944. Here is the uh, list of the content. First we got the Americans, then the Germans, the British, and last but not least, the Soviet forces. Here are some historical notes about the year 1943, with the defeat of the German troops in Tunisia. Um, with the landing in Italy and Sicily, all down Battle of Kiev, yeah, some winter battles on the Eastern Front, and of course um, the disastrous Battle of Kursk. Yeah, that's all that on informations for that year. Then we have here some side notes for the year 1944. Oh, man, you can't read that. Um, about the frontier getting nearer to the German border. Some dates, data when separate battles begin and end. Yeah, here is how the Third Reich collapses in 1945. And first of all, the first nation covered in this book are the Americans. <laughs> yeah. Who are they? Um, yeah, I think the text here is not correct. Americans um, eat fast food, um, doing some kind of world police, but well, maybe it's right already at that time, but that's after debate. <laughs> yeah, know your tanks, uh, Sherman, Stuart, tank destroyers, and half-tracks, as usual when you see American forces. Here are some formations you can field. It's a Sherman tank company, a tank destroyer company, a Stuart tank company, the armored rifle company and a rifle company. That are the things you can field in this book or, the, or from this book. Down here you have the support units. Um, Two boxes of priests, two boxes of armored recon patrol. 
Oh, three boxes of priests. Yes, more priests. Yeah, here are the special rules with uh, component. The Jeep has the same rating as its unit where it comes with. Stabilizers, seek, strike and destroy. Yeah, all that normal stuff you expect the Americans to have. Yeah, first we have the Sherman tank company, but there are no 76 millimeter Shermans at the moment. Whoop, yes, there are no 76s, which means you have a hard time fighting tigers and panthers. Hmm. Yeah, as it was, <laughs> not a good time to be an American tanker at all. Next we have the Stuart Tank Company. And here are the tank destroyers. Uh, they have a chance with anti-tank 12 against the German highest armor at that time from 9 I think, but we will see it in a minute. Here's the Armored Rifle Company with a lot of dudes carried in these half tracks. Machine gun platoon, anti-tank gun platoon. Oh, they got the little ones, not the 75. Here are the 30 seven millimeter anti-tank guns with only anti-tank seven okay here is the rifle company and here are the support units <laughs> yeah next nation are the Germans. Nice panther. Yeah, who are the Germans? The Germans are they? They lost every world war they started. Oh, so easy it is it is. So exactly one world war. It's off to debate that we start the first one at all. Oh, here's a Stuka diving down to some Soviets. Yeah. Here are Know Your Panthers. Panther 3, another Panther 3, Panther 4, Panther, Tiger, Ferdinand, Brumbauer, and a Stuk. Lovely variety of tanks. Oh, what's in the German force? A Tiger Company, a Panzer 3 and 4 Mixed Tank Company, a Panther com Tank Company, a Stuck Assault Gun Company, Panzer Grenadier Company and a Grenadier Company. And a lot of support choices. Yeah, that looks amazing. Yeah, here are the German special rules, Stormtroopers, Third Reich, Bazooka, Skirts, Flame Tank, Flamethrower, Heat, Protected Ammo, Tiger Ace, Mounted Assault, Panzerfaust, and Unit Transports, Salvo and Flying Tank for the uh, HS-129. Now, what means that? Ah. Okay. Good. Here is the Tiger Company, as you expect. Um, three platoons of Tigers and an HQ. But the price of the Tiger is decreased 
from 29 points in mid-war to only 12 points in late war. That looks good. Yeah, so you can field at least um, eight, nine tigers in 100 points. No, only eight. And you have four points left for additional support. Whatever you find for that. Here are some panzers. But I think they are not that good anymore. Let's compare it. Confident are both. A veteran are both. Uh, hit on 4+, plus, both front 9, both side and rear, 8 for the Tiger, 5 for the Panther, top 2 and top 1, okay. But here, last stand for the Tiger, 2+, plus. remount 2+, plus. Mm, that's not good. The same anti-tank, the same firepower, the same weapon reach, and only one point less for the Panther. Okay, they might even have thought about it before they doing such thing. Nevertheless, the Panther is a nice looking tank. I'm not sure why should I should take him when I can have a Tiger, but he looks good. One point for him, one style point. Next we have a mixed tank company, mixed between Panther 3 and Panther 4. Nice. Um, yeah. Oh, also with some flame tanks. Ah. I guess there will be barbecue on the Eastern Front. Ah, we will see. Um, here's the Stuck Assault Gun Company. Here are the Panzer Grenadiers with half tracks. Nice. Some mortars and half tracks. Some half tracks with a little gun on it. Some self propelled guns. Flamethrower half tracks. And here are the Grenadiers. Also with a lot of stuff. <laughs> Here's the German support, some beasty heavy tank hunters, some light armored tank hunters, and some small anti-tank guns and stuff. Yes, looks nice. Here's some Brombears, Wasps, Hummels, 10.5, Nebelwerfers, and a lot more. Yeah. Next are the British. Um, yes, the Brits have to wait for that book, I think, from now on, five to six months. Yeah, so they have to rely on that. Here, know your tanks. A Churchill, a Sherman, a Firefly, an M10 and Stuart. Universal Carrier and Daimler Armored Car. These are tiny little things. But they look good on the battlefield. Yeah, some formations. We have the Sherman Armored Squadron, the Italian Churchill Tank Squadron, the Rifle Company and the Motor, Motor Company. And support. Ah, I think my son will have enough 25 pounders for for three support choices. <laughs> uh, could very well be. Okay. So what's here? The Sherman Armored Squadron um, with possibility of four Sherman Armored troops and one Stuart. Oh, you can field two Racky patrols, but then you only have three Sherman Armored troops. Nice. One Firefly and three Shermans, also nice. Yeah. What's here? Here are the Churchills. You might field 
instead of a Churchill, a Sherman armored troop? Well, that might be interesting. And here are the stewards. Yeah, here's the rifle company. As you expect, some British riflemen, a lot of machine gun power, and a lot more of universal carriers. Yeah, and here is the motor company. Not that much universal carriers, but a lot of six pounders. Nice. But a lot of these troops are only trained. So, we will see how that works out. And last but not least, there are the Soviets. Yeah. Who are they? Always drunken. No, that's wrong. <laughs> know your tanks. Uh, T-34, T-34-85, KV-1, KV-1S, SU-85, T-70, a Churchill. Hmm. Land lease, I think. And some Valentines. Cool. What's here? Wow. That's two, five, ten? Are there ten formations you can field? Wow. There are two guards formation, three hero formation, four conscript formations and one reconnaissance formation. And a lot of other vehicles and a lot more of artillery pieces. Yeah. Nice. Two sets of Kadyushas you can field eight. Yes. And sixteen cis Thanks three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here are some Soviet special rules. Last stand rating is better flamethrower crafty. What means that? Ah, uh, oh, they have better tactics rating flammable. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Heavy tanks, and better counter-attack rating, rear MG, yes, chromosome for the motherland, better assault rating, yeah, nice. So, here are the heavy tanks. KV-1S Guards Heavy Tank Regiment. Nice looking tank and yeah, but not good at anti tank 9, which means he can't kill a tiger at all. He only can bail them twice so that he'll have to leave the battlefield. But it looks good, it looks very nice. Yeah. Next, the Churchill Italian armored. Tank squadron, but Italy, Italy in Russia, yeah, as they wish. So, what's the choices? Field four Churchills, platoons, or companies, or uh, exchange two for KV one companies. Hmm, nice. He wrote. T-34 tank battalion, that's good, 12 points, oh, crafty, better tactics rating, but they are still aggressive, yeah, nice, Hiromoto rifle battalion, with a lot of choices, some PTRD anti tank guns, machine guns, rifles, tanks. Hey, you can feel tanks in a motor rifle battalion? Yes. Nice. <laughs> Are you going to start Soviets now? No. I still have enough to do with my British, uh, with my American and my Germans. I have the Brits also. Yeah. There are some anti tank rifle. Anti-tank guns, yes. 
more of them. Cool. Hero Rifle Battalion. Nice. Very, very nice. And a T-34 Tank Battalion. Hmm. Three points a tank. That sounds cheap. And you can exchange um, half of them with 85. Hmm. Cool. Some Valentines. Here is the M3 Lead Tank Battalion with some outdated British and American tanks. Hmm. Some Stuarts. That will be fine. Stuarts for the Russians. Nice. What's here? Motor Rifle Battalion. Oh. Again with some tanks. And more. Yes. A very nice var variety of lists you can build with this book. But the Soviets have to wait um, nearly one year or, now, or longer for their own book. So they have to have good lists inside this one to get their offensive going against the Germans. Here's the reconnaissance battalion. Yeah, armored reconnaissance platoon stuff. Company HQ with this. Oh, I have to lend my son some of these half tracks. Yeah. Over there are the support. You already did. Yes. For bolt action. Yeah, okay, for bolt action, but this is for Flames of War. So you have to get some of them down also. Here are the support, more support and more. Yeah. And here are the Katyushas, artillery and the Stomovik. Yes. Here's the basing guide at the end of the book. How you base your uh, commanders, unit leaders and stuff. Yeah, how to base your guns and mortars and heavy machine guns. Yeah, next we have um, hit the beach box, what's in there, um, and a little bit of description, how you can use that. Here is the Fury box, which its components, the unit cards, the Colors of War book. You check out, should check out that video. It's also on our channel, but it's in German. You have might some interest in listening to German words, or you might can speak German and understand what I told about. Yeah, next we have the starter forces for the Americans, the Germans, the British and the Soviets. And some additional stuff you can buy if you don't have enough. Which of course you don't have, because who has enough of anything of that? Yeah. And now the book is finished. After all, I highly recommend this book for every Soviet and British and also for all German players to get that stuff. Um, but the Americans have a new book to come out, which I also have done a review for. So if you can get your hands on this book, get it for the Americans. Um, if you don't can get that, or you have an additional army to your Americans, get a copy of Fortress Europe. It's worth the money you pay for it. Yeah, after all, um, what's next? Follow us on Twitter, 
um, check out our other videos on YouTube if you don't haven't already subscribe to our channel and consider to, to support us on Patreon every dollar helps so get one out of your wallet onto our Patreon page have a nice day bye